Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about, to, and I've done a video kind of like this, but not all together. I've got my page set up the way I want. I've got my page size set to my laser bed. I've got my unit set to inches. My uh, nudge distance is actually set for 0 .001. It's, it reads 0, .0. I've got my duplicate distance. But a friend of mine says he doesn't have the Smart Fill tool. So there's a couple of things you can check. There's a plus sign right here. Just click on it. And it's going to give you all your flyouts. And you would just go down and make sure the Smart Fill tool, when you find it, is checked. And there it is right there. So if you uncheck it, it's gone. So you can go right there to that plus sign, go down to where the Smart to Fill tool was, and check it back, and it goes back. Now, if you're still isn't there, it's a possibility that your icons are too big and they might not show up so we're going to right click on that we're going to go to customize and we're going to go to medium buttons i've got mine set on small and by doing that my smart fill tool is gone now it's still here because you can double click on or just click on this double arrow and there's your icons that are off the chart or off the toolbar so right click customize default buttons and make them small and it reappears now he also says he doesn't have this right here i don't really know where it could be but it is there somewhere so what we need to do i've got everything set up the way i want i'm going to right click i'm going to go to customize and i'm going to go to workspace and i'm going to go to export and i'm going to export my workspace and all the toolbars that way i've got it set up and it's going to put it in a file and I'm not going to do it because it's, I would, well, I'm going to do it. Doug 2, save it, replace it. And then, if you still don't have all this, turn Corel off. Just exit out. Hold down your F8 key and restart Corel Draw. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to override the current workspace with the, with the factory default? Yes. If you ever have a problem, you can get it back to right where it was. Now, this takes just a second to reload, so I apologize for that, but this is pretty important. So, in just a second, it's creating an application environment. And you can see it set my workspace to my nudge distance. So, I'm going to open a new document. It's still loading. And see, my new document is wrong. So I'm going to put my width of 40. My bed size is 28. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to take away the hints. The hints are pretty important if you want to look at that. I don't want the welcome screen. So now I can do all this stuff and just reset it. 0, 0.0. 0. Set, set your nudge factor to 0. 0.001. Your own inches. Your toolbar is there. All this is there. I'm going to double click on this because I like drawing in a hairline. In graphic, put OK. Go up to a hairline. What you're doing, you're taking away from the, um, the default. And I need to get to RGB, and which is my default palette. And you can see the RGB there. And I'm going to pick red as my hairline and basically I'm done but I can right click this customize workspace and import and I'm going to import Doug 2 and it should have put all those things back I probably shouldn't have done that but this is just the next step it also puts in some other things that so it's bringing in all your shortcut keys your toolbar your dockers all your applications, it's going to take just a second. And that's how you do it. So I'm not going to take your time to wait till my old laptop loads this up. But it should put everything back the way you had it. But still, you'll have your, this down here, you'll have your Smart Fill tool now. I'm going to wait just one more second. I don't know what's taking so long. 
Yours probably will not take that long. But I'm importing all these things I've done because I saved them. So instead of having to go change everything, it should work. And I'm not going to wait around. Well, there we go. And you're done. So if you ever make any changes, you know, you make your icons too big or this disappears or something disappears. And another thing, you can click on this and you can take things away that you don't use. I use all this stuff. Um, let's see something we don't use, uh, possibly. If you're new to Corel, you might not enter, ever use the uh, transparency tool. Well, you can click that off and it gives you less icons to pick from. But I pretty much use all these. And like edit fill and stuff, you don't really need. But if you want to put that back, all you have to do is click on it. And then I would always go to Tools, Save as Default. And then that will save it for the next time you open Corel. You ought to be good to go. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.